that the counties will be going into this year's championship with great expectations. I suppose it will vary from county to county what is progress. For some, for some counties it will be getting over a round or two of the championship, reaching a provincial final, winning a provincial final. For others it will be going all the ways uh, and be serious contenders for the championship. So it varies from, from, from county to county and of course there will always be some surprises thrown up along the way and I suppose that is the beauty of sport, you just simply never know. It's been fantastic that different teams have dominated different championship and different grades over the past 11 years and long may that continue because I suppose one thing we don't want, we don't want the one team to dom dominate any sport so this year we'll have 17 live championship match and four other league matches, club matches and county matches so yeah it's been good, it's a great partnership and we're very happy with where we are now. Certainly it's a free flow, fast flow game, it's a healthy game, it's an exciting game and you know it's great exercise for people. Our urbanisation programme has taken off immensely. Uh, we're getting into areas where there is no uh, ladies football, indeed in some areas where there is no Gaelic tradition of any Gaelic football. The minute the championship starts, the title is up for grabs again and we have no more right to it than anyone else. So it's going to be harder to win it this year than it, than it was last year because we have to up our game and everyone will be trying to outdo us. So our ethos is we just work hard and take one game at a time and we see how far we get. Well after last year, you know, in our success at the intermediate level, we kind of thought this year we'd bring that into the senior level, but unfortunately we were beaten by Tyrone there last week and, you know, I suppose after that we don't really know where we stand, but, you know, the all Iron qualifiers now is a good enough um, place to give it a go and see what we're made of. Winning the All-Ireland Junior Championship last year was definitely the highlight of my career so far in football. So um, we're hoping to give it a good crack at intermediate this year and um, with a few new players on, a few new young players. We've lost a few players from last year but we're hoping to find a balance now this year again. It's very hard for us being in New York trying to, you know, get the scoop on everything that's going on here. So please God we'll get some spies in the field, re you know, in the, in the championship before we come home. But I believe it's Lyle, Derry and Wexford. As I said at the, the lodge today, well, there are three priorities. One is to get more women involved in sport. And I want to compliment uh, this organisation for the job they're doing for me. Because it is important to get women involved in sport. It's not easy sometimes for women. And if, you know, they're great role models for the future. So I'm delighted to be here today. I'm delighted that the, 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 the women's football has really taken off. And uh, as you know, I'm Minister for Sport. My department funds the Sports Council. The, the Sports Council in turn support, uh, support the Women's Association and uh, long may that continue.